Hey guys, Golden Life Gaming back with another video. In this video, we'll be going through how to install add on planes in Flight Simulator 2020. As you see, I'm flying out in a Bombardier, which is not a default airplane, not a DLC. This is actually a added on plane, and it's a pretty good plane. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, you need to be in your game and find your community folder. You can do that by moving on to options. In options, you need to go to general. General and go to the last option and enable developer mode. Then just go on to the top second and to the left and find this particular folder open it and look at the very last one that is your community folder now simply note that down and keep it for later because it's important now go on to any flight simulator mods website and download a particular mod as you see i'm downloading the crj from this particular website i'm going to link it in the description but it doesn't matter from where you get the mod as long as it's like legit sells or gives away mods for flight simulator 2020 i'm not sure mods for like older versions of flight simulator work or not while still download is going on i suggest to move on to your community folder which i had previously shown you where it should be and you should have various files there once your download is complete you'll see a few folders we just need the single folder containing either the livery or the plane and you don't need to do much else you don't need to put additional files you just simply take that folder and place it into your community folder that's it it's pretty simple now simply start up your game and go to any place where you would like to fly your airplane I choose this particular location but can be anywhere it doesn't matter and when in plane selection depends on the type of airplane you have installed it will be visible in those columns as you see the Bombardier is in this particular column and it actually comes with a handful of libraries which is pretty good now we just set the airport as a departure and fly and once the loading is complete you'll be able to see your airplane now since this is a really early stages of flight simulator 2020 modeling you can see the cockpit isn't exactly a bombardier cockpit but that's unrelated to the video that depends on the mod you download honestly and a majority of the mods for this game is still like not super high quality due to the age of the game but yeah that's it we're gonna just fly around this plane for a few minutes and have fun externally this plane is pretty good it's pretty realistic looking from outside I'd say so let's try and take off it's taking speaking up speed pretty slowly but it should catch up, catch up it's a pretty long runway it's next to Boston and the planes okay just a bit of skid in the front wheel there but we are having a bit of lift and we are up as you see I'm not a really good pilot <laughs> if this was real life the passengers would probably like be shouting at us but yeah mods working fine it's quite a bummer that the cockpit isn't that detailed as a real bombardier but it's fine as you see I disabled the, co the yoke visibility because I just prefer to see be able to see my gauges and stuff and yeah let's try and do a turn around and land this plane 
as per my memory the flight sim x it should be a good plane to land but since this is a mod i'm unsure so the graphics of this game is pretty amazing yeah it's pretty good i actually remember flying this plane in flight simulator 10 with some introduction missions or something like it was the first mission in that game and i enjoyed it my experience with flight sim 10 was actually like trying the trial version and we had like half an hour to an hour to play in that game and we had this plane and we had another tiny little plane like a propeller plane but i really liked it so i just decided to get a full g version of the game and now i have like flight sim 2000 and 2004 if i'm not wrong i need to check my uh, collection but i have a f good amount of flight simulator games because i like playing games and flight sim 10 is phenomenal but to be honest i haven't tried to explain and all because in that time when those games came out i didn't have much time to play but this game's graphics are just amazing and it runs it doesn't run really good but it's playable like for a game like flight simulator you don't really require 144 hertz so yeah 30 to 45 fps is okay but it would be nice to have like 60 frames at least as you see i'm trying to turn this plane around in third person which makes things a bit easier especially from the cockpit which doesn't have that great of a visibility But those clouds, they're just amazing. Damn amazing clouds. As you see, I'm trying to get a proper angle into the airport while still be able to look at the physical features of this plane, which is pretty good looking. I actually really like the looks of these planes, especially the ones with the engines at the rear. They just look a bit unique. Most other planes look the same, like your Airbus and Boeings. Like, yeah, there are some differences in the nose and all, but overall, like, same tail design, same engines under the wings. This looks a bit unique, you know, it's a bit old fashioned. But yeah, now it's on our final approach. I put my landing gear down, and I'll be getting my flaps down pretty soon as well. Let's see. <laughs> see, I'm not a great pilot, so hopefully this doesn't crash. Mm -hmm. 